welcome to your tour. I'm Paul Getty, I'm a lab technician here at Laurentian University. Um, we're gonna do a tour of the first year chemistry lab. It's not the only lab I teach, I also teach the biochemistry lab and a few others in the background as well. So we're doing a tour of a chemistry lab. We gotta start by talking about uh, safety. And in the lab, we always wear lab coats, safety glasses, and um, as a lab technician here at Laurentian University, I have a blue lab coat. In the teaching lab, we always have teaching assistants that help us. And those teaching assistants, they'll be wearing these burgundy lab coats. And it just makes us very visible in the room. So when a student needs help, they call us over, raise their hand, and, you know, they know where we are in the lab. And if you take a look at the chemistry lab here, this is a large room. This holds 64 students at its maximum capacity. With that many students, it's important to be prepared um, in case for safety issues. And so what have we got here? Well, we have the shower. So you pull the lever down, water comes down. I wash station, just pull the lever down, immediately you wash your eyes. We have a first aid kit. We have a spill kit in case chemicals fall on the floor. So you gotta be ready for these uh, accidents because even though uh, we're not working with anything overly dangerous in the first year chemistry lab, we are trying to train these students to work in the lab and to work safely and accidents still happen. And that's why it is important to have uh, these tools on hand. So let's keep going a little bit further in the lab. Uh, this is, you know, everybody's dealing with COVID-19 and of course, as such, we're wearing masks now. And so we definitely have masks for students when they come into the lab. So students, when they arrive to the lab, remove their personal mask and use one of our masks in while they're doing the experiment. And when they're done, they discard these disposable masks and they can put their own personal mask back on when they're circulating in the hall or on campus. And of course, we have gloves for everybody. Long gone are the latex gloves. These are all mitra gloves in various sizes. And, and if you prefer, some students prefer vinyl gloves, uh, we have those on hand if necessary as well. As I mentioned, this large room holds 64 students at maximum capacity. And these students, uh, we have four per bench. They have their personal workstation here, these drawers. So we see these are, are numbered. This is workstation number 29, drawer A, B, and C. And if we take a look inside, drawer A has your classic chemistry glassware, flasks, earlmeyer flasks, or beakers. Drawer B has um, your volumetric flasks, volumetric glass pipettes, so a little bit more specific or uh, accurate, this, these glassware. And on the bottom drawer, we have your Bunsen burner. Yeah, insulated glove, we don't want anybody to burn themselves. So if you're in the first year chemistry lab, we want you to learn how to use a Bunsen burner. Gotta have it. To help us teach you these things, we have four monitors in this lab. So with these monitors, we can display the procedure, give some quick information, and in this case, uh, right now, we have our details regarding the Bunsen burner. So it helps students get that lit and get that appropriate flame to heat the samples. We also have a speaker. Speakers. So very convenient. I'm screaming right now in this large room. Nobody here to hear me. But when we have a large number of students, uh, I'm using this microphone and everybody can clearly hear my instruction.
very important nowadays to have a wheelchair accessible workstation. So here, I've displaced the cabinet that's in one of the underneath there. So if we have a, a student in a wheelchair, they can work comfortably on top of this workstation in the lab. This is one of two wheelchair accessible stations in the first year chemistry lab here at Laurentian. We have a few woods as well, so first year students don't use this often, but still we have them access here. Uh, and if you're working with any kind of uh, corrosive solution, you can work in the fume hood safely. We have our chemical free area here. You may have noticed as you're walking through the lab, there are three regions, uh, cubby holes, no chemicals are uh, put on these tops, and so students can store their personal items in the cubby holes during the experiment, and when they're done, collect their things and exit the lab. So I hope you enjoyed your tour of the first year chemistry lab here at Lawrence University. I'm Paul Gaetani. Hope to see you come by. Hello, Paul Gaetani here again, lab technologist uh, at Orange University. Now we're touring the organic chemistry lab. And so if you saw the video on the first year lab, this is very similar sense that we have this uh, chemical free zone so upon entry in the lab students can store their personal belongings in this chemical free zone a couple of cubbies to store their books or school bag and then students can access the workstation and so here we have the first uh, bay of four in the chemistry lab there are six humans and so students can safely work with their organic solvents within these fumes. Students use specific glassware in the organic lab. So I took out a quick fit kit here to show you an example. And so in the organic lab, students need to assemble this glassware. Once they assemble it properly, here I've got the step funnel and condenser down the middle. So once they've assembled or pro uh, properly their uh, glassware here, they can fix it into the view hood and perform the experiment. So this is, as I mentioned, one of four work bays in the organic chemistry lab. So we have six view hoods here, we have four bays, that's 24 total view hoods in this lab. And so we can work in pairs or a single person in each human. So let's walk through the lab. So bay number two. Here, bay number three. And as I mentioned in the first year lab, we have masks for students when they access the lab, and we have protective gloves for everybody for and during uh, the experiment. Here, let's get a closer look at some equipment that students work with in the lab. This is a rotor evaporator, so it helps students remove unwanted organic solvents. In the back, we have a melting point apparatus help students assess the melting point of solids. And again, we have TV monitors in this lab, one in front of each bay that helps us uh, give uh, information to the students. And we have the same safety uh, uh, shower and eye wash station that was located in the first year lab. So again, very important to have these safety features in the chemistry labs. And in the 
last uh, fourth bay here I wanted to show you again um, these modernized labs taking into consideration that some students are in a wheelchair need an accessible workstation and so here this is one of those accessible workstations where the fumoid level can be lowered or raised to the appropriate height And of course, these benches can be removed if necessary. Let's go take a look at the last room in the organic lab. Some specialized equipment here. And so this equipment is reserved for the uh, upper year organic lab. So here we have just a general press, which students in the chemistry lab use to uh, press their KBR pellets. So these pellets allow students to analyze some uh, chemical properties or structures of molecules using uh, IR spectroscopy. We also have, our students have access to an NMR machine. And so this is a 60 megahertz machine uh, and students are the ones who prepare their samples, such as this one. So we have here uh, an MR sample of two. Uh, so students prepare their sample in these tubes. Students load the sample in the machine. They analyze and generate their spectrum, print that out on the computer, and they gain some valuable information regarding the structure of whatever compound they're working with. So this is the tour for the Organic Chemistry Lab. Glad you came to watch, and I hope to see you in it someday.